What is up, beautiful people? What is up? What is up? What is up? Hey, what it do? What it do? What it do? Hey, it's your girl, Brit Jokes. Welcome back to my channel. So you already know the deal. I am on the hunt for the worst nail salon that I could find. And since I'm back in Texas visiting family, I figured I might as well go get my nails done for good old time's sake. So I'm going to read you a few of the reviews from this place I came across. The nail tech cut me during my pedicure and kept digging. When I said, stop, it hurts, I'm bleeding. One nail tech rudely replied, we can't help you, go to the doctor. <laughs> what? Well then, he said, this is a nail salon, boo. We ain't a hospital, bye-bye, miss me with that. <laughs> well, dang, I guess if they make you bleed, you best go see a doctor. <laughs> so this next person said, they allowed a customer to run around with no mask on, spitting and foaming at the mouth as the nail techs discussed the grossest details of one of their co-workers' sex life fueled by meth. <laughs> what? While underage clients looked uncomfortable. Honey, I'm uncomfortable reading this. What, what did I just read? You got customers that have rabies. And then you're talking about your sex life while high on drugs? Um, I don't know about you, but that's not the ideal type of person I would want doing my nails. Anyways, okay. She ripped my nail off. The pain was so excruciating, I nearly passed out. And then here's a picture of the girl's nail. Oh, that looks horrible. Sorry guys for the graphic picture, but that is the sad reality of these worst reviewed nail salons. So on my way here, I literally passed by a couple farms and I even saw some cows. They were so cute. Hey. So I figured cow nails would be a perfect fit for today's design. Plus, I've been feeling like one lately, you know, just eating my feelings. Because you already know, quarantine has me on a strict diet of sweets and Netflix. So hopefully they can do these nails. Let's go check this place out. Oh, this is sketchy. You guys see this, uh, these window shades they got on? <laughs> they're probably not trying to let anyone know that they're open because of COVID. Literally every nail salon is closed right now, but these guys are open. So let's go inside and check it out.
All right guys, let's talk about these nails really quick. I just wanna start off by saying, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Worst reviewed nail salon or not, I'm in love. Like, these have to be one of the cutest nail sets I've ever had. Look at that cow design. There are some nails that are a bit crooked and there are some nails that are shorter and some that are longer. So they're a bit uneven, but the design is so cute that I don't even care. And to be honest, this place wasn't bad compared to all the other worst review nail salons I've been to. Trust me, I've seen worse. And also there's a few things that I do want to point out. When he was painting my nails, he asked me if I wanted to get a matte top coat. And I asked, well, how much extra would it be? Because everyone usually charges extra for matte. And he said there was no extra charge. And I was shocked. I've been to nail salons where they will literally charge you for anything and everything. If they could charge you to breathe, they would probably charge you for that too. So when he said that there was no extra charge for the matte coat, I was shocked. So I did get the mat and um, I ended up only spending $40 on these nails. That is literally the lowest I've ever paid for nails. On average, I spent about $75 to $80. And to top it off, the service was so quick. It only took him an hour to do these nails. There's been times where I've sat in a nail salon for four hours. So for me to be in and out within an hour, I was so impressed. There were a few things that were kind of sketchy. First of all, the whole front of the salon looks so suspicious. You can totally tell they're hiding from something because all the shades were down, everything was covered. It looked like it was abandoned. And to top it off, they only accepted cash. They're clearly not trying to have their transactions tracked. And you know, there's so many rules going on with this virus. They've been still trying to make salons stay closed because of that. So not too sure what the laws are in Texas, but <laughs> they were definitely up to something. But I didn't get no red flags. As soon as I got up off my seat, the guy started spraying everything with Lysol. Obviously there were some moments where it was kind of dirty, but it is what it is. I am very satisfied with my nails. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are obsessed with cows. So I know you guys are just as excited as I am about these nails. I cannot get over them. They are so cute. That's pretty much it guys. That was my experience at this nail salon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. I am clearly having a bad hair day. It is hot. I I'm a mess. But my nails is cute boo. Yes. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one.